Ethan, I suppose we've been talking some of the lads, it's a nice week for you guys, a good week to step up and make against Leicester at Welford Road, it's quite a, a big occasion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's a, it's a sellout, isn't it? And it's uh, It'll be the first time the lads have played in front of such a big crowd, some of the boys, but it's it's an incredible game to to come into the team for. A derby, you know, there's no, there's nothing like a derby in the East Midlands. No love lost between the two sides, and it'll be uh, it'll be one heck of a game. So if you're one of the lads who doesn't know what it's like to play against Leicester, Yeah, true. I was I was involved in that win recently, and it's uh, it's always a pretty damn physical game against against Leicester. There's there's no doubt about that. They're they're packed strong. Their backs are physical, and they're they're going to be a tough team. And it's that it's always an added bit of fire when it's between you know us and them. But, you know, it's an incredible atmosphere, and it's something that I'm personally really looking forward to. I suppose it's one of those things when you, you kind of grow up and come to this academy. It's one of those pictures that everyone knows about the, the Northampton boys, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, just being a supporter, you you know about the uh, the intensity of these games and how they tend to flare up and. And uh, and the level of you know, well, there's a certain level of pressure, but it's also a level of excitement that comes with it, and it's something that that drives us on as a team. You know, there's a lot of energy, and enthusiasm with this squad we've got at the moment. Um, what we've lost in experience, we've more than made up for it in that, and it's uh, it's something that all the lads are just chomping at the bit for. I suppose you've had some experiences that you'd rather forget against them as well. You score in a fixture against Leicester. Yeah, I did last year. I scored in the fixture. We ended up losing that. You know, in. in the last few minutes of the game, but as we say, you got to take those losses. Um, it's something you le- that you learn from, and you know, since that we've we've beaten twice. So it's obviously something that we did learn from, and uh, hopefully we can continue that run, that winning run uh, this weekend. Big chance for you as well. The two Alex is away. Yep, at last. <laughs> uh, no, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, those those boys have rightly been been playing the way they have, and it's it's tough for me to get a look in at the moment, but. No, this is an opportunity to see for me the next two weeks to, to put down a marker in, in the way that I play and you know I know say every L V but I feel like I'm at a stage now where I wanna be pushing on to try and get into that squad on, on merit, not just waiting for an injury. I think it's my time that it's a it's about time I, I put together a good string of performances to show that, you know, I'm I'm capable of coming up and putting some pressure on both of those lads. You've had some good experience when you come into the team as well. You remember that game at Sale in the Ammon Cup last year and, and things like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, I mean, people always talk about us losing the internationals around these periods, and and a few years ago it may have been an area of weakness, but but now we've got a massive strength in depth in this squad, and you know that 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 game against Sale last year was a big marker for that. You know, we went up there and almost a completely different team, and uh, and turned them over and got us through to the next round of the Amlin. And uh, last year, obviously, we went unbeaten up until the last game of the LV, and hopefully this year we can continue that winning run into the LV and. With a home final, you know, it's a bit of bad incentive for everyone, and it should uh, should be exciting. Um, you say it's good to see the Alexes go away. How much have you sort of been learning from those two boys this, this season and the season gone by? Oh yeah, well you learn from both of those guys is invaluable. You know, Corbs is one of the most knowledgeable players in the scrum and, and in forwards meetings. He's always he's always talking, and obviously with him and my brother, we always go through games when we have, when we get a chance, and we'll be doing scrum analysis together. And it's it's great to learn from both of those two props, but. You know, at the end of the day, it's still a, it's still a competition with both of them, and it's uh, it's something that I relish and I, I really enjoy. But it's time for me to try and you know put down a marker.